Sedona. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Today we're going to talk about our feed and how we get it delivered. Y'all stick around. and he's gonna lower the boom so they can shoot the feed inside here. And this is our feed bin, almost out here. This is Robbie with Hillsboro Feed. We don't know what we do without these guys. They always keep us in quality feed and don't let us run out we'd be in trouble without them for sure we'd be in trouble without y'all <laughs> <laughs> alright This is one of their bags and um, normally when they come with our creep feed they'll fill up our creep feeder first and then whatever's left we put in bags so it's so much help filling up the creep feeder because if you have to do it by hand it's not fun yeah, no, no, no. Okay. This feed is made up of cracked corn, dried distillery grains, or DDGs, and some molasses. Our cows go crazy over it. The hard-working farmers. Is that fine? Yeah. Yeah. It is. So you think when you get to be teenagers, so you'll come out here and do it for me? So let's talk about feeding out a steer. So what we have done in the past is once we have a beef appointment, um, about 90 to 120 days out from that appointment, we would just put the steer up in a smaller area and they would have grass and all the hay they want to eat. And once a day we feed them what we call caramel corn, which is basically just cracked corn with a little molasses mixed in. It cuts down on the dust and the cows love it. So we start out with that and then we add this Four Max Fitter's Choice. It's a bagged feed that we get at our local co-op. Um, you're gonna start out giving it a two to eight ratio between the, the cracked corn and the Fitter's Choice. And then about a month from your appointment date, you're gonna cut that back to a one and eight ratio. So this is what that looks like. It's just a pellet. Okay, so one of the most important things I believe it, that we do is called um, probios. It's a probiotic and it's in a powder form. Um, so you just read the label and go by the instructions there. So we've used this and we've had really good results with this program. Hey, I just wanted to jump on here for just a minute or two and, and tell you guys thanks so much for the overwhelming response that we received yesterday on my Facebook post about selling beef. Um, it just means so much that you guys would support us and um, you know help us with our dreams. Thanks again. Hey babies. Mm. 
We'll give our bulls 1% of their body weight and feed a day. Of course, they have grass and free range hay as well. So, pretty excited about this year's group. My heifers get a half a percent of their body weight every other day. You don't want to give them too much feed because it can affect their milk production. Thanks for watching today. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button. See you later. How fresh is this day? Could be any fresher or we still be grazing. <laughs>